Hey guys, we are looking at a sequence and we want to find the hundredth term in this sequence. The first thing I'm going to do is figure out the pattern. What is being added or multiplied or whatever to these numbers to get us the next one? Well, when I look at it for a minute, I figure out that we are adding four each time. So I could literally add four till I got to the hundredth number if I really wanted to but I don't really want to do that. So I am going to use an explicit formula because we are adding the same number over and over. I know this is an arithmetic sequence and I want to use an explicit formula to figure it out. So guess what I'm going to use an arithmetic explicit formula. You're probably familiar with these. If not, if you haven't been working with these, that's okay. I'm going to refer you to a video in the corner that you might want to check out if this isn't making sense. Okay, so we are going to fill this in because this will help us find whatever number we want in the sequence, including the hundredth term, which is what we're looking for. So I'm going to fill this in, but we're going to talk about it as I fill it in. So we're not just memorizing it, but we understand why we're doing what we're doing. So this A sub N is basically just saying whatever number you want to find, you plug in what number in this sequence you want to find. If you want to find the 15th number, plug in 15 for n, okay? Whatever number you want to find is equal to a sub one. That is my first term. We also call that a sub one. So my first term, a sub one, plus d. That stands for the common difference. Basically, what's changing each time, and that's what we figured out. We figured out we are adding four each time. So if I just did two plus four, that gives me the second number, right? But what about the rest of the numbers? Well, that is where the n minus one comes in. We are going to multiply four by n minus one. Now, why is that? I want you to look at this for a minute. If I were to look for the fifth term in this sequence, the next one, we could also call it a sub five. I would add four again and get 18. So to find the fifth term, how many times did I end up adding four? I added four, one, two, three, four times. To find the fifth term, I added four, four times. So that's where the N minus one comes in. If we're looking for the hundredth term, we would end up adding four 99 times one less than whatever number we're trying to find. All right, so this is my equation here. But now I want to find the hundredth term. That's my whole goal here. That's why we're here, right? <laughs> so I wanna know where n equals 100, what that number is. So let's plug it in. A sub 100 is equal to two plus four, times n minus one, so 100 minus one, which gives me 99. Because that's what I would be doing, right? I would add four 99 times. Okay, when I do four times 99, I get 396. But that's not the answer. <laughs> A sub 100 is equal to two plus 396. So then when I add those together, I end up with 398. So if I were to add four until I got to the hundredth term, it would be 398. All right, I hope this made sense. If you're finding yourself needing some more examples like this, I've got a whole playlist I will link for you. Thanks.